Hi, this is Josh. Here is a JTAGable Xenon with error 0020, which is error GPU reset done. I've diagnosed it down to being a defective GPU, so we're going to replace it. The chip that I've decided to install is this 2010 Elpis model. Alright, I've done a basic flux cleanup. Before we go ahead and give it a test, we're going to dump the NANDs and update the fan curve. So this system has the original fan curve. All right, you can see I've lowered the GPU target to 75, the EDRAM target to 78, and the emergency uh, shutdown temps have been lowered to 100 and 102 respectively. This is also the profile used on later Xenons as well as Zephyrs and Falcons, so that's why I've applied it here. Occasionally, when you repair one error code, there's another code hiding behind it, and that's what happened here. The 0020 error GPU reset done is gone, but we're now getting a memory training error 0101. In the case of this system, I have diagnosed the error to be one of the RAM chips, but it's very, very hard, if not impossible, to determine which RAM chip is at fault. So I'm going to start replacing them one by one, and hopefully the system will start. And for those that are curious, this is what it looks like when the chip is off. That's the new chip up there, and we're gonna put it on. I always change them in pairs, so I've got the mirror off the bottom too, and we're gonna put a new one on there as well. The system is now finally booting. Into a 7371 NXE. So, there are those six chips I replaced. Unfortunately, I don't really have a good way to know which one of them was the fault, but I believe multiple were, as the postcodes kept changing as I replaced chips. So it almost seems to me like somebody heat gunned this board because of the 0020 and started killing the RAMs. So I think what I will do is I think I'm going to change that one in its mirror just so that it has a fresh set of known good RAM on it and we don't risk any issues in the future. All right, I've got the last two swapped, so we'll do one more test to make sure that the system works. There we go. She's up and running. So this is gonna be a pretty nice Xenon JTAG. It's got that 80 nanometer LPIS GPU installed there. It's gonna run nice and good and reliable to 2010 manufacture date, so it's fixed got a new set of RAM on it that's known good so this is going to be a pretty nice system all right so here is the system with all the flux cleaned up we have that uh, Elpis GPU installed the 80 nanometer chip the system is finished if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below thank you